Speaking of the aging community, having a stroke is a terrible and terrifying experience. They are very time sensitive and every second matters in identifying and treating a stroke. So imagine having artificial intelligence technology that can automatically detect when a patient is having a stroke and directly alerts the physician on duty. Well, that technology was created by Israeli company Viz and today we have the Viz CTO and co-founder David Golan here to tell us all about it. David, thank you very much for being in here with us. Thanks for inviting me. So it, it's my pleasure, first of all, but let's get started. Tell, tell me a little bit about Viz, how it works and how you came about creating it. Okay, so the big problem with stroke is time. We have a life-saving treatment, uh, but for that to be effective, it needs to be administered as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And every second counts, every minute counts. One minute translates to a one week, one week loss of a healthy life for wow. the patient. Um, our goal is to cut down those times and we leverage artificial intelligence for that purpose. Uh, artificial intelligence hooks into all the CT scanners in the hospitals, okay. gets all the scans, identifies the strokes and alerts the physicians in real time on, you know, this patient needs your attention ASAP. So can it, can it catch a stroke before it really hits? Or, you know, can it catch based on the symptoms that lead to a stroke? No, so this is integrated with the CT scanner. It turns out that the biggest delays are not from onset of stroke to getting to the hospital, but actually in the hospital. Really? Uh, people get to smaller hospital, periphery hospitals that are, um, less well versed with treating stroke patients mm -hmm. and it actually takes up to 25 minutes to get to the CT scanner but an hour and a half to get from the scanner to the attention mm -hmm. of the right doctor. So this okay. is the time that we're eliminating. So okay, now I understand that there's an application that comes with this that's used by doctors then? Yes, now the doctor that can treat this patient, he can be anywhere. Maybe they're in the ER but maybe they're in the clinic, maybe they're yeah. at home, maybe they're asleep. Right, so sure. we're, we want to be in their pocket. We're, we have an app on their mobile device. It rings very loudly when, when we detect a stroke and allows them to immediately take out their mobile device, view the scan, make a decision, and continue treating the patient and take ownership of the treatment of the patient from that point onwards. So, okay, so first of all, how many, how many hospitals are utilizing this technology? How many doctors, you know, and, and where, where do you hope to export this to next? Okay, so we, we're, um, we're currently we're FDA cleared. This is the first uh, AI-based technology cleared by the FDA ever. Congratulations. Thank you. And so we're now, we're selling in the U.S. market. Uh, we're installed in dozens of hospitals in the U.S., uh, including several very big and very prestigious uh, hospital oh. networks. Uh, we're also running a trial in Israel uh, led by Rambam Hospital. Okay. So we're running there and aiming to distribute in the rest of Israel as part of the trial. That's incredible. And, and, and again, you know, what inspired the creation of this technology? You know, why, what made you focus on, on stroke? Um, so first of all, the, the stroke field is undergoing a major disruption in the last three years with the introduction of mechanical thrombectomy, mm -hmm. which is this time, this life-saving treatment that can help those stroke patients. Okay. So that's like the general uh, opportunity for a field that's undergoing a transformation and needs technology to help it help the patients. Uh, you know, also, the co-founders, Chris Mancy, the CEO, and myself come with our personal experience. Chris is a neurosurgeon, so he lives and breathes this, uh, used to live and breathe this in, in practice. So this, this um, hits home for him. This yes, is like definitely. a personal kind of issue. Definitely. Uh, you know, he, he, he lives and you know, he sees patients that he could have saved if he had known about them earlier. Of course. And you know, I, I had my own personal experience with you know, getting hospitalized and, and, not, and having delayed in treatment, which sort of got me interested in, in this area and, and got me connected with Chris. And we sort of sat together and said, you know, I'm from the patient side, and you're from the doctor side, and we're both suffering, have witnessed the same issue. Let's solve it with technology. That's incredible. All right, well, so first of all, I'm very excited to, that, to have you here and describing this, uh, and I hope all the hospitals that are listening right now really take this into account, Definitely. that the doctors really download this and, and take it seriously. Um, but for the meantime, I believe there, there's like an acronym for, uh, for identifying a stroke. Right. Um, what, what is that? Well, uh, let's see, in English, I, th I think it's fast. Yeah. So you need to, uh, to see the face, the facial droop sometimes, like mm -hmm. the smile drops on one side. So yes. face, arms, is, if there's yeah, one can you, Do you have trouble weakness. raising them? Yeah. Uh, speech, if you have a slurred speech or problem producing speech or sure. understanding. And T, I think, is time. It means Which, if you see those three things, you need to rush to the hospital as fast as possible. All right. That's, I think that's a good way to end it right there. Awesome. All right. So remember, fast. Remember Viz. David Gulan, thank you so much for coming. Thank in. you.